Hello and welcome back. Myself, Dr. Pratik Jain, and today I am here in front of you to discuss again a very important topic that is the gastric cancer, also known as the stomach cancer. Now, as per the recent statistics, it is the second most leading cause of cancer-related deaths among India, especially in the age group of 15 to 45. So that shows that how lethal it can be. Now today in this video we are going to talk about what are its causes, what are the risk factors, what are its signs and symptoms and what can we do to prevent it and also what role homeopathy has to play in all this. Okay, so let's first discuss how it happens. It usually begins in the stomach lining. Now the lining is basically the epithelium or the mucus covering which actually protects our stomach. Now it occurs, the stomach, uh, the cancer, stomach cancer happens due to the genetic mutation uh, in the DNA of the cells. Now the genetic mutation means there is a change. Now DNA is the code which tells the which tells the cells whether to grow or to die. Now because of this mutations, the cells uh, multiply even uh, rapidly and eventually form a tumor instead of dying. Over a period of time, now these cells can replace the healthy cells and may spread to the different parts of the body which we call it as metastasis. Now what are its signs and symptoms? You may feel bloated after eating, there is indigestion, uh, you may feel the, there is a heaviness in your stomach constantly, there is nausea and vomiting, the, you may also find blood in your stools and in advanced cases uh, you may also feel there is a weight loss and also there is difficulty in swallowing. So now let's come, uh, let's talk about what are its risk factors. Obviously there is a family history, uh, repeated gastric infections. Uh, also, we Indians have a predilection, we have a special liking for the spicy, smoked and salty food. This is the single most important factor along with the alcohol which leads to the gastric cancer. Also along with this, let's talk about H. pylori. Now what is H. pylori? It is a bacterial infection that feeds on your stomach lining. Now it, what does it does? It, it creates an enzyme called the urease which makes your stomach less acidic. Our stomach is already full of acid and it is necessary for normal digestion. But because of uh, this enzyme, it makes uh, it, the stomach is predisposed to a number of uh, infections because it has become less acidic. Now how does it H. pylori feeds on it? It happens normally many of us have H. pylori infection but because of our low immunity, it can cause a lot of trouble. So the latest research in the field of homeopathy and also according to the German New Medicine, the gastric cancer or the stomach cancer may also be caused due to certain conflicts uh, which we call it as indigestible conflict. Now what is it in metaphorical sense, any situation or uh, any situation or a thing which we are unable to take, we are unable to digest. For example, conflicts or angers at workplace, the insults or the criticisms or even the accusations, the betrayals, all these things or suppose uh, we were expecting a job promotion but it didn't happen. Any news which we are unable to digest may lead to this. Now let's talk about the role of homeopathy in this. As we talk about, if your immunity is low, we are predisposed to number of gastric infection and even H. pylori. So first and foremost, we should not ignore the H. pylori infection and get treated right away. And homeopathy has an excellent uh, remedies for H. pylori infection, which is an important risk factor again for gastric cancer. Also homeopathy improves the overall immunity of the patient, which may help to avoid this situation. And also in cases where the cancer has already been diagnosed, Homeopathy is an excellent choice to halt the further progression of the disease and to stop these cells from spreading elsewhere. Okay, so what are the takeaways from this video? First and foremost, you must avoid the diet rich in spicy, smoked and fat food along with the extra salts. Also, you must add a lot of fruits in your diet, fresh fruits, fresh leafy vegetables and also diet rich in vitamin C. Along with homeopathy, all these dietary changes can play an important role to prevent such cases. If you like this information, please share it with your friends, subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more.